Hey guys, welcome to the 10th and final day of my 10 days of fall. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed. Please let me know in the comments if you liked this, if I should do this again with other holidays or other themes or whatever it is. Please let me know. I would love to do this again. So today's tutorial has got to be my favorite of this whole 10 days of fall. It is my pumpkin spice latte mug. I just think it turned out so stunning. I just cannot stop staring at it. Definitely took the most amount of work out of all of these cups, but she's just gorgeous. And this is not stainless. This is a porcelain mug that I used. Um, I know that's not typical for doing epoxy, but it's possible and I just wanted to try that out. So I just, this is just like the epitome of fall to me. Like this is the most fall, thing ever and like honestly I need to tell you guys a secret about this um I had my very first pumpkin spice latte the other day from Starbucks and I was not a fan it wasn't bad it just it was like it was it was like the flavor of like pumpkin pie but like in a drink uh no that's not like it's just no we don't want that in a liquid form give me pumpkin pie i love it pumpkin bread yes so good pumpkin spice latte no i don't i'm not a fan but anything to do with pumpkins pumpkin spice pumpkin whatever i just think it's so cute so even though i'm not a pumpkin spice latte drinker i will still use a pumpkin spice latte cup if that makes sense. Also, in this video, I am giving away, I said that really weird, giving away. I'm gonna give away a signature desert collection of glitter, which is 12 full-size glitters. You get one of every color in the collection. So to enter that giveaway, all you need to do is subscribe to my channel, ring the notification bell, leave a little comment below, and also join my Glazed Epoxy Facebook group. And that's it so i will pick a winner i have all the details down below for you guys and links and everything but i'm so excited to give that away to you one of you guys um this glitter is one of them in the desert collection i love it if you guys want to see all of the steps i think this is the longest video in the bunch because it was definitely time consuming and very involved so if you guys want to watch the tu tutorial on this mug this gorgeous little mug let's get into it Right, guys I am starting out with this porcelain mug I know better to use stainless for doing epoxy but you can really epoxy over anything and I just really wanted to try a porcelain mug I had already prepped it for the paint and then spray painting the rust-oleum metallic gold Then once that was dry, taking just a little bit of my mixed up epoxy, this is the Artistry Tumblr and Art Epoxy. And we're just gonna spread a really, really thin layer on the entire mug. Once that was spread out all evenly, I'm taking my glitter from my Desert Collection. This is the shade Addicts. And we are just gonna sprinkling that on the entire cup to get a full coverage of this color. I 
After that was dry, I went ahead and sealed it with the Rust-Oleum Clear Matte Spray Paint. Now I'm adding another layer of epoxy. Make sure that you get really well around the handle. Now I'm doing a second coat of epoxy after the first one was dry. Now I'm taking some vinyl. This is going to be for our peekaboo. So it just says pumpkin spice, just putting that right in the middle. taking just the center part of this cute little pumpkin and vine detail so putting that just underneath then I wanted two little hearts on the bottom I thought that would just be really cute Then I also wanted the handle to be completely glitter. So I'm just taping all of that off also so that it doesn't get painted. It was kind of tricky to tape this off. In my mind, it seemed easy, but it actually wasn't as easy as I was thinking, but still manageable. Then I really wanted to make sure the shape around the base of the handles was really nice and even and just kind of curved. So I took just a smaller piece of tape and went around just so that way I could kind of control that edge a little bit more. But you just want to be mindful of what that edge is going to look like with the paint and not just leave it kind of a weird shape, I guess I would say, like make it more rounded and kind of just at the very base of the mug. Alright, so now that that was all taped off and decaled, we're going to go ahead and spray paint. And this is this beautiful kind of beige taupe color. I love this color from Rust-Oleum. It is just gorgeous. I love the tone of it. So I did two coats of this to make sure I got a really good coverage.
Once that was decently dry, it's best to peel the decals off while the paint is still like a little bit tacky. So you're not gonna like rip any chunks off. So just very carefully with tweezers or whatever, just peel off your decals. This is very tricky, but also very satisfying because you get to see your little peekaboos. And it just makes all this work and spray painting and decaling all worthwhile to see those little peekaboos. Then it was time to take off the tape from the handle. So then it was time for another layer of epoxy. Once that was dry, it was time to add the rest of the decals. So I just did you are the, and then to my latte. So it'll say you're the pumpkin spice to my latte. I only wanted a couple of the words to be the peekaboo and then the rest to just be the metallic vinyl. Then we're adding the offset to the pumpkin spice and this this was very difficult for me this was the first time I did a peekaboo with the like offset outline next to it and it was very it took me a long time finally got it pretty good it's not perfect but it's pretty good but I was about ready to throw this cup and just say forget it I'm not doing it but I got it figured out and um, I did the this is the little outline for the little pumpkin and vine detail at the bottom so when you're feeling frustrated just stick with it um, maybe take a break and then just go get back to it but you can usually fix it and work it out
outlines on the hearts. Time for the last layer of epoxy. And this little mug was done. This took me so long, but it was so worth it. I think she turned out so cute. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And thank you guys so much for watching my 10 days of fall series. Let me know if you guys want me to do more things like this and I can definitely do that. And don't forget to go enter my huge glitter giveaway. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.